Hi guys, yesterday was 17 degrees, today it's raining, it's the 10th of February in the southwest of France in the foothills of the Pyrenees. Um, I have here a lovely lime and ginger drink and basically yesterday I was coming down from this beautiful walk with my family and I had this real urge to create um, a small structure that I could sleep in with or without my husband <laughs> and I've got lots of bamboo here so I'm going to split it and uh, make a kind of ramshackle dome with some polyester blue string and, uh, and then I'm going to cover it in uh, a tarp which I've got down there and then um, put some earth on top and then make it cosy inside so it's going to be waterproof and yeah I just kind of really got this need to be really close to the earth again. Um, I want to show you quickly what I did last year. So last year I was in this tent and I did do a film on me grounding in this tent here and I left it too long and then it got holes in it and then it got like an ant's nest in it and I got rid of that and then I got rid of one bedroom on one side and then the rest there was like a big storm and then that broke. Um, this other creation here was my daughter's cabin that she was playing in a while um, but yeah I did sleep in that for quite a long time that tent and then yeah it's all gone to pot. But this year I thought actually I really would love to make my own structure again. So um, I'm going to take you down to, this is the upper part of the garden that I'm in here. And uh, let me just finish my drink. Then I can leave that behind. Um, I did actually think, you see this tree here? It's a little tree. Um, I tested it and um, it's it's kind of not going to last very long. <laughs> it doesn't have any fruit on it and um, yeah, it's not very live and I thought, well, maybe I could make my structure against that. Um, but there's a lot of shade there all through the day and I thought actually even though it's an amazing view from that part of the garden um, I don't think it's kind of long lasting because I thought you know I could prop up the big sticks on the v-shape of the tree but um, then also I didn't really want my structure to be pointy I wanted it to be more domey and more curvy so a bit like a cave I suppose so um, I'm taking you down past the vegetable patch here to a lower part of our garden with axe in hand um, past some lovely two different apple trees and this is a plum just now I'm going past and then this is um, the flat land and a kind of very wintry looking kitchen space that we made for the yurt and then here you can't quite see it but there's a whole round of stones here making up a bonfire which we have used quite a lot and then can you see the view from here very handheld uh, yeah you can see the snowy cashier and then down here uh, I was kind of making stuff with bamboo and then also I can show you we did make like an outdoor toilet which is here it's a compost loo it does actually work just need some um, wood shavings and then that was going to be our shower but um, then we left the tarpaulin this tarpaulin up and it created a huge swimming pool because Robin didn't make the roof very well and it kind of broke my bamboo structure because it got too heavy so yeah we can make this kitchen area nice again I don't know if we'll need it because I'm basically going to use these bamboos and my axe to split it and then um, I've decided that 
this little section of land here is um just feels right for my dome it feels good here it's a bit kind of wet coming off the land here it's, it's a tiny bit drier a bit higher but also flat it's just got a nice feeling to it and i can see directly to the cashier and um <clears throat> yeah i'm gonna make me a structure here goes i'll keep you posted on the next step and i'll see you soon guys